Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of the Blackbird Grimoire. Welcome back to our series on the Havamal. This is verse 151. The first translation reads, A seventh I know, if I see a hall high o'er the bench mates blazing, flame it air so fiercely I can save it, I know how to sing that song, Olive Bray. Second translation, If I see the hall ablaze around my benchmates, though hot the flames, they shall feel nothing if I choose to chant the spells. W. H. Jordan and P.D. Taylor. And the final translation. For the seventh I know, if a lofty house I see blaze o'er its inmates, so furiously it shall not burn that I cannot save it. That song I can sing, Vikinger.org. So we are talking about taming fire today. Now, the gift of fire has been the greatest blessing and the most significant challenge of our species history. Fire can warm us, cook our foods, perform all manners of useful service, and it can also be one of the most destructive elements when loosed from control. The ability to not only control fire, but to repair damage done by it and to provide healing is invaluable. You know, and from a human perspective, we, we cannot un unburn what the flames have taken. What's lost is lost. The most we can hope to do is to replace what has been lost. Uh, but when it comes to healing, we are also similarly limited. Uh, too great a burn can be fatal. Our bodies can only repair so much damage, and even the modern uh, practice of skin grafts uh, only gets us so far. It's a testament to Odin's divine nature and his talents that he can render the effects of fire as not. So let's uh, turn to the idea of soul fire, which is, you know, the fires and flames that is within our soul, that manifestation of the element of fire within our own nature. Ill will can be another sort of fire, especially if there's magical force animating it, which is why you will see uh, so many practitioners of the craft really struggle and make an effort to control their tempers because we know and understand the force that we could unleash if we actually do lose it. And the consequences from these figurative and magical flames can be just as significant and just as permanent as any literal wildfire. Uh, harsh words can be the fire that harms and even ends relationships that were once cherished. Uncontrolled anger can brutalize the people around us, not just the subject of our hour. And uh, once loose, we have to deal with the consequences of these soul fires and accept that we may not be able to make it right again. And the best way to shield others from our personal flames, you know, the ones that are destructive, is by quenching our rage while it is still inside of us. At that point, magical work can still have a chance to be effective. They're not just doing damage control they're actually doing something to get at the root of it and uh, challenging though that may be we do stand a better chance of successful magical solutions when our fire remains contained in this way uh, so that's what i got out of the verse this week let me know what you thought of it in the comments i'm going to get out of here because i can feel my voice going at any moment uh thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one